water. Keeps us alive, right? Right up until it gets into my fuel tanks. So this should be a pretty quick video. I just wanted to give a uh, good example of why it's important to do a thorough pre-flight, specifically the sumping of your fuel tanks, looking for water, contaminants, uh, etc. A lot of us go through our flight training never really seeing water uh, in a fuel sample. We've seen pictures of it. I'll typically, when I teach, pour a little bit of water into the sample cup just so that they can see how the water settles to the bottom. I'm seeing pictures in books and whatnot. But I had a real world example just not too long ago that I wanted to share in this video. So my student, and no, I'm not going to call him a learner, was out pre-flighting a Piper Cherokee type of airplane. And he's probably halfway done. And keep in mind, this wasn't his first pre-flight. We're a dozen lessons into his training. Uh, when I walk out, he said, uh, when I sampled the right wing, it came out clear. I thought, clear? How could it come out clear? So he was just about ready to take a sample of the uh, left wing. So I shot a video of that, and it came out looking normal, looking like this. You can see, nice blue, 100 low lid coming out. That's what we typically get, right? So then I had him go back over to the right wing, and he took another sample. And I didn't video it, but it did. It came out perfectly clear, looked like water. Poured it on my hands, didn't have a greasy feel to it, like if someone put uh, Jet A into the wing. So I had him take another sample and took a video of that. Keep in mind, this is the third sample that he's taken. And uh, this is what we got. That does not look like 100 low lid. Don't know that I would drink it, but it certainly looks like water. So we keep pitching these samples out. And I asked him, was the gas cap on? He said, yeah. And it was on. I don't know how if it was really on when he took the fuel sample or not. It had rained earlier in the day, so my suspect is that water got in uh, the gas cap gasket um, going bad. Who knows? I seriously doubt that that much rainwater could have got in during a refueling. If anybody else has encountered that, please put that in the comments. So finally, he took a sample that I didn't take a video of, but we finally got some uh, fuel in it. You can look at this picture here and see water settled to the bottom and fuel on the top. So we dumped that, took another sample just to make sure, and it was all 100 low lead. So it was a local training flight. We had lots of gas in the other tank. We went ahead and flew, run on that tank, got up to a safe altitude, switched to this tank that had the water in it, and apparently we got all the water out because we had no running issues. But the moral of the story is, if he wouldn't have checked it, and I as a flight instructor just go out and assume that the student checked everything, um, we could have switched to that tank, and I doubt the engine would have been very happy uh, trying to burn water. So that's really it that I had for this video. Just a nice good example of um, <laughs> you need to sump your fuel tanks to uh, try and get that water out of there. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, comments, or smart remarks, um, please leave them. Thank you.